In this short video, we're going to start talking about directed graphs. Another name for directed graphs, um, this is sometimes shortened to uh, digraphs. And directed graphs can be particularly useful in, moder <clears throat> in modeling certain situations. So here we see a graph on um, five vertices, so order five with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven edges. And here we see the same copy of this graph, but we might also have the additional layer of information that each of these edges has a direction. Okay, so it can point uh, either way. So maybe these are the orientations. So the directions on the edges um, are just an, another layer of information for the graph. So to illustrate how this can be useful, we're going to just work an example. So here's our example. Suppose four teams, the Titans, Bulldogs, Tigers, and Hawks, all participate in a tournament, and each team plays every other team. And then we have the results of the tournament. The Titans beat the Bulldogs. Uh, the Bulldogs beat the Hawks. The Titans beat the Tigers. The Tigers beat the Bulldogs. The Hawks beat the Tigers, and the Hawks beat the Titans. And we want to model the outcome of this tournament using a directed graph. Okay, so let's keep our results here. Okay, well, we know that every team plays every other team. Okay, so what we're going to do is have our vertices represent each team. So we're going to have four vertices, one for each team. Um, so maybe this will be... Titans, and this will be the Tigers, and this will be the Hawks, making this the Bulldogs. <clears throat> and every team plays every other team. So what we might do is put a, an edge connecting two vertices if those two teams play each other. Okay, so the Titans are going to play everyone, right? And then the Bulldogs are going to play everyone and the Hawks are going to play everyone, and the Tigers are going to play everyone. So unsurprisingly, <clears throat> because every vertex should be connected to every other vertex, what we end up with here is the complete graph on four vertices, K4. Now, if we want to indicate um, a team beating another team, right, we can't really do that just with graphs. We need directions on the edges to indicate um, a victory, maybe. So let's say that... Uh, with the Titans beat the Bulldogs, so that means that we'll point this edge connecting the Titans and the Bulldogs towards the Bulldogs, indicating sort of that the Titans were over them, right? The Titans beat the Bulldogs. Similarly, the Bulldogs beat the Hawks, right? And the Titans beat the Tigers, and the Tigers beat the Bulldogs, and the Hawks beat the Tigers, and the Hawks beat the Titans. <clears throat> okay, so this is how you might model the situation in this problem using a directed graph. Um, and it, there, the concept of path and cycle in a directed graph, uh, in a regular graph, extends to a directed graph. And usually, if you want a path, say, for example, there is a bulldogs to tigers path, and if you want to travel along that path, you have to be going in the correct direction. So like Bulldogs to Hawks, Hawks to Titans, Titans to Tigers, or Bulldogs to Hawks to Tigers, for example. Um, and similarly, you can get the idea of a cycle. But <clears throat> there aren't very many directed cycles. I can see at least one here, um, or two. So for example, you can go Titans, Bulldogs, Hawks, Titans, Right, or you can go tigers to bulldogs to hawks to tigers, or you can actually, um, well, no, I was going to say it, there was another one, but I don't see that immediately. Anyway, directed graphs are just another way to sort of get additional information if you're using graphs for modeling. Um, and they don't have to necessarily represent victory like we have here in these sports teams. The directions could mean one way streets if you're modeling. Um, you know, a city grid, or they can mean all sorts of information, like uh, maybe this is a network of computers and this is like the flow of information, like this computer, while they're all connected in the network, this only sends information to some hub over here. 
Um, and it's just an, a way to get extra information on your graph. So we'll be using them throughout the semester um, in, in certain spots. And in particular, we'll talk about flows on graphs later in the semester. And flows on graphs are only defined for directed graphs. So this has been an introduction uh, to directed graphs.